right, so real quick introduction. Hi, my name is Tony Romano. Um, I'm part of the fitness industry. I've worked as a trainer for some years now. This is Arabella over here. Um, so what got me into the fitness industry is changing people's lives. Uh, I was playing college football out in Wisconsin, small D3 school, and um, I tore up my shoulder, had posterior labrum surgery, capsule reconstruction, and uh, I kind of turned to drugs and alcohol and uh, really hated who I was. Um, it was pretty rough for me. And I seemed like I was having fun at the time to everybody on the outside, but I really hit my low and hit my rock bottom. Um, after that, I uh, lost my scholarship essentially and sent home to Florida. And when I uh, got back home, couldn't find a job. I was working at a car wash and I was working AC repair and it was not fun. It was summer, so it was like 110 degrees in those attics sometimes, 130 degrees sometimes. It was brutal work and terrible pay, like $10 an hour, literally terrible. It was not a fun summer. But I, something clicked in my head when I did it and I said I didn't want to do that. And I hated who I was, I hated what was going on in my life and uh, I really wanted to make a change. So it took me, took me the man in the mirror talk, which everyone always talks about, the man in the mirror. But I really took an Expo marker and I went to my mirror and I wrote down three of my goals in life. And they were on my mirror, there were three goals. And the first goal was to change my life for the better. My second goal was live, live my life to the fullest. And my third goal was leave a positive impact on other people whether it was making them smile or hell, training them as a client and then their life completely 360s from going out and partying all the time to having a drink on the weekends but is eating healthy during the week. Just something positive. Um, and it, it took a little while. I didn't really know how to do what I wanted to do. So it took me some studying. It took me about three, four weeks of me really doing trial and error to figure out how to lose body fat for myself. And I was reading articles, articles on articles of, of different bodybuilders or different dietitians on, on how to, to manipulate food and workouts to match a certain body type. And I found a lot of like what's out there wasn't the truth. And it's not the truth for me because my body type was different from what I was reading. And, then I started learning a little bit more of how um, bodies respond to different certain things. So I started doing trial and error and that took another month. So um, it took me about two months to really start losing weight. I started my journey at 215 pounds and I was probably 27% body fat. I mean, it's not terrible, but at the same time, like I was just an elite athlete. I was looking at my stats and some of the stats that I had from my combine were pretty equivalent to some of the NFL combine running backs. And I was like, well, damn, I went from being that to being absolutely nothing worse than the average human. And it got to me and I started learning how to change my body and change everything. And I was very lucky and very fortunate that I, I became studious of my craft. And becoming studious of your craft can mean a few different things. And for me, it was studying it, learning how to apply it to real life. Because there's always, we always read stuff in books and you know, that's like a perfect scenario. But when it comes to full on application, it is completely different because there's so many different variables. Every person's different, every little thing. So then I started learning how uh, application plus the, the actual book studying went together. And I started being able to develop stuff for me. And by the time that I ended up 
moving from South Florida to Tallahassee, it was about a four month time span. Um, I wanted to get certified to be a personal trainer. I had that feeling of self hate and I knew I wasn't the only person that felt this. And um, I, I just, this is a feeling nobody should have. Absolutely no one should have their, their self hate. They should never feel that type of way where they don't want to even look in the mirror at themselves. And it was tough for me to get over. And I didn't know how to do it at first. And there's tons of people that hate the way they look. They want to make a change. They're attempting little things here and there. And they never find out what was right for them. So I wanted to, to help out as many people as I possibly can and change them. And help them change for the better. And, and do little things in their life to impact them for a lifetime. Um, and I was glad and I had a great opportunity when I got to Tallahassee. I became a trainer and, and my first client was 396 pounds. And by the time that we got done, she was a year down the road, a year of official training, and she was 276 pounds. Um, that was one of my, that was my very first client ever. And I still am pretty close with her to this day. And I, I kid you not, the nicest person, nicest human being in the world was super intimidated by gyms and that's the thing like everyone's going to those gyms for the same purpose to change their lives for the better and uh, it, it's a it's a big stigma and I just wanted to make sure that she felt comfortable that was the number one thing and that that was awesome I, I got her to feel the comfortability I got her to really experience the gym and we changed her life. I mean, she lost over 100 pounds of fat alone, over 100 pounds of fat. That's this is an unfathomable like amount. But it was a great experience for me and it, and it lit a fire under my butt. And I always talked to people and I, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna compete and become this bodybuilder and I promise I'm gonna be one of the best. And, and I never backed it up till after, after we started working together. Um, three months into me training her is when I, I got into bodybuilding. Um, I did my first show that May and I moved up there in June of the previous year. So it took me roughly, roughly 12 months to, to fully commit to doing it. But when I did it, I did pretty all right. I mean, I fell in love with the sport because it's a, a transformation sport. A lot of people don't realize that. You look at the pro bodybuilders and they, they're they these Greek gods or goddesses. And we have to really look at it as a, an opportunity to commit yourself for a change of, of who you are and, and what you're gonna be. Like, that's the main thing is you, you commit yourself to doing a show because you wanna change your body. That's what the, the NPC is all about. Um, that's why they have amateur class and uh, first time competitors. So that way you can do it to commit yourself to that change and, and get up on stage and show everybody how awesome your transformation was. And I think just there's not enough people promoting just lifestyle change. And I, I know all these people are promoting bodybuilding or this workout plan, that workout plan, this diet over here. But really, I, I, I want to promote the, the ability for somebody to commit to changing themselves for the better, whatever it may be. If it's reading a book every night, or if it's going to the gym, or if it's eating an, uh, a, a meal with veggies in it and you never ate veggies in a meal before. Just commit yourself to something where it's a positive impact on your life. Um, but that's really and adjust what I think and what I want to achieve with, with what I'm doing here is hopefully leaving a positive impact on people. So I'm gonna be covering my prep, I'm gonna be covering life skills, I'm gonna cover different dieting techniques, different weightlifting techniques, um, all different f sorts of things. And we'll talk about form, we'll talk about what's the difference between bulking, maintaining, and cutting. We'll talk about all of this stuff um, and I really want your guys' help. I want to answer your questions. If you please like and follow and comment something that you would love for me to talk about, something that's in depth, and I'll go as much detail as I know, 
and tell you everything that I know. Um, and other than that, have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time.